Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create super fans that love your music and actually buy whatever you make. And more importantly, I'm also gonna show you how doing that will actually leverage your time so that you can do more of what you really love, which is making music. So if you're talented, and I know that you are if you're here right now, but your fan base isn't growing or it's not very active or maybe you have some fans but you're not making a living from your music yet you're going to realize that if you have that talent and if you're hard working people like you and me can create a living in the new music industry and it's so important that you focus on this plan right now i'm leah mchenry i'm the founder of the online musician and I'm an internationally acclaimed recording artist. Welcome to video two of my brand new series called Explode Your Fan Base. So in video one, we talked about a plan with five strategic ways that you can make passive income in the new music industry. We talked about not having all your eggs in one basket. And they're each new ways that you can make a living as an independent artist, but in order for that to work, you have to have super fans. And you'll hear me drill this in time and time again because as I showed you, super fans are the people who will get addicted to your music. They're willing to spend money on your music. They're not just looking for free stuff on the internet. They love merchandise, they love fan clubs, they love the experience. And there's a ton of people like that in the world who love the exact kind of music that you play, but they don't even know you exist yet. You're not even on the map. And so they're waiting for you to show them that you exist so that they can become your super fans. Anyways, that's all in video one. And these videos each build on each other. And so if you haven't seen that other video, go back right now and go watch that video and then come back to this one and I'll be right here waiting for you. Okay, so assuming you've already watched video one, I'm gonna build on what we already discussed by sharing with you the number one thing you must master if you wanna make a living from your music. And that's getting super fans. But I warn you, this is a new way of thinking about building your fan base. We're going against conventional advice. We're breaking a few rules. So listen, you have to have an open mind if you wanna make this work and it will work if you apply what I'm teaching right now. And I'm also gonna share with you how I raised over $27,000 from my last crowdfunding campaign from only 657 people. I told you it's about quality over quantity and the proof is in the pudding. And by the way, that was before my album was even made. And so when you learn how to do this right, when you take to heart what I'm saying, you don't even have to worry about an album budget because your fans are already there excited about what you're doing. They're already wanting to pay for this album you haven't made yet because they believe in you and they want that experience. And so because of that, I never have to sell my music. I don't have to work so hard to do that. It's, it's very easy. And so um, my fans are even going to my website and they're even paying more than I ask for because they truly want to support me. That's the way it works when you have super fans. So we'll be talking a lot more about that in depth. The whole goal here is to help you get discovered by those fans who really count and learn how to create a buzz and how to use a killer marketing plan that actually reaches people who are already searching for your music. And so everything I'm teaching you involves putting the ball in your court. I don't like leaving stuff to chance. There's a small measure of it that's chance, but a large percentage of it is, is in our court. And so you get to decide how much money you wanna make or not make. You get to decide how much you're committed to doing this as an independent artist. And this stuff isn't based on luck. It's about talent, commitment, and using smart strategies. So let's not leave this stuff to chance. And we've got a lot to cover today, so make sure that you've got paper and pen and you're ready to take notes. People who take notes are gonna get way more out of this and they're gonna get way more results. So anytime you're trying to build your fan base, it's inevitable we're gonna hit some roadblocks. You know what I'm talking about because we've all been there. We struggle to find the time to balance our music with everyday life. And we know we need to be using social media, but it's pretty intimidating and it's also easy to do the wrong stuff and totally mess it up. And unfortunately, we also have to play shows for people that oftentimes they're not even interested in us playing. We're up on stage there and they're not even paying attention to us. They're like on their iPhones. So, you know, it starts to add up 
to, you know, it starts to suck and it starts to take a toll on us. And some of us even start to get cynical and we start getting skeptical of the music industry today entirely, which is really a shame. However, I'm just gonna tell you the cold hard truth, all right? Because if you've ever faced these truths before, guess what? You are normal. But if you allow these things to shape your attitude about the music industry right now, and this starts becoming an everyday thing for you, you're gonna have a really hard time making a living from your music and even getting joy out of making music anymore. And so I wanna warn you about that. And I know firsthand because that was me when I was struggling and it wasn't that long ago, but I invested in myself. I'm constantly investing in my skills, my education, so that I could learn how to increase my income through my music. And number one thing is I have to increase my skills. And so I studied marketing techniques from the people who knew it best, and that is business owners. They figured this stuff out. Then I did something that anyone's gonna do if they're gonna grow past their comfort zone. And that is I took action on what I learned. I decided I'm gonna be in that 2% like I talked about in video one. You know, there's 98% there's of people who take in information and they never do anything about it, they think about it. It's a good idea. And there's that other 2% that actually act on it and they're the ones that get results. So I was like, I'm gonna do that I, and nothing's gonna stand in my way and I made a conscious decision. Nothing will get in my way. I will figure this stuff out. And so you have to decide I'm gonna be in that 2%. I'm serious about my music and I'm gonna take action and take responsibility for my own success. And when you do that, you will experience massive growth. And so that's why in this video, I'm gonna break down for you the process of marketing your music in today's day and age. We're gonna talk about very practical steps. I don't wanna get into theory, let's go practical about how to find and attract your super fans, which is gonna save you so much time and so much money and frustration. So before we go any further, it's important that I give you this heads up, because at some point when we're going through this, it might be tempting to think, well, I don't really need marketing, or I don't like business stuff, and you shouldn't do it for the money anyways. And besides, my music is so amazing on its own that people are gonna just come and find it. Well, I'll just tell you right now that if you don't think you need marketing, that's fine, but be prepared for your music to just stay a hobby. It'll be sitting in your basement or on your computer somewhere and it's not gonna get discovered because it will get buried in the internet. If you don't like business, I totally understand because some of our artist brains are not wired that way, but Believe me, if you want to succeed, you must increase your skill level in this area. I constantly invest into my skills. I constantly invest into my own education because it gives me the cutting edge in my genre. I know stuff about my audience and my fans that other people in my same genre, they don't have any idea about it. And I'll tell you what, if you are willing to just get out of your comfort zone just a little bit and learn how to mix your art with just a few basic business skills, nothing complicated or advanced. That is gonna set you apart from everyone else in your genre and you will crush it. Also, I know from firsthand experience that if you build it, they will not come. Because I believe that lie on my very first album, I already did this. I made my album thinking that, hey, I'll just put it up on YouTube and somebody's just gonna stumble across it and I'll go viral or something. But you know what? That did not happen and it won't happen to 99.9% .9 of us. That's just not how it works. So you need to know that when it comes to success in music online, at least 50 to 60% of the ball is actually in your court. It's what you are doing. It comes down to having an amazing product, which is your music, and then knowing how to market that product. And then there's a percentage that is the audience reaction and that you can't control, but you can set it up to get the best reaction ever. So don't believe the myth that so many musicians out there believe that all you need is good music and that the rest will magically happen, because that is a total lie. Of course you need good music. You won't get very far if you don't have good music. That's the foundation. But you need to get your music heard, which means putting your music in front of the right eyes and ears. 
And that, my friend, is marketing. People think that marketing means stapling a poster to a telephone pole or putting a sticker on their kick drum or like asking their relatives to come and like their Facebook page and they're like, I just marketed. Uh, no, you didn't, <laughs> but you might have created an eyesore for the general population who has no idea who you are or why they should care. And listen, like I've already been there and done that. I've made all those mistakes. And unless you're totally determined to take to heart what I'm teaching here, you have to make a decision like, I'm going to listen to you and I'm going to act on this. You will continue to struggle and struggle to find fans who care about your music. And they are out there and they're waiting for you. All right, that's enough tough love for now. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of today's video, starting with superfans. Today is all about superfans and how you're gonna find them. Building my superfan base is the exact strategy that I use to make over $100,000 a year and growing from my music. And I really don't have a lot of time to spend on my music business, as you know. I'm a stay-at-home mom, I've got five kids, I homeschool them, and because of that I don't tour. So that's just the priority that I've set up for my life. I've designed my music career this way. And so I'm excited to see what you can do with this information because I know a lot of you have more time than I do, so you can even go further than what I've done here. So if you want to tour, that's great and it's totally awesome and it's fun and it's exciting. And it's also the traditional thing to do, so there's nothing wrong with it. But I want you to start thinking about touring as like the icing on the cake rather than the cake itself. And I want you to consider reverse engineering your success. Here's an idea, okay? By building your fan base online first and then touring, you could actually tour to sold out shows your very first tour. And that's actually what I'm doing. That's my goal right now because my super fan strategy is where my foundation money is coming from, right? So I've set up this foundation for myself and I've done that from home and I've done it online. You can literally do it in your pajamas. And then when you go on tour, that's gonna be gravy on top of what you just built. Isn't that a cool strategy? All right, enough on that. Let's talk about nuts and bolts. So remember from the last video, we talked about why we want these super fans, because these are the people who are serious, they spend money, and you don't need that many to be successful. And we used a round number, like approximately 1,000 super fans per year to spend around $100 on you between those five streams of income we talked about, and that is an easy six figures. It's not that hard to do. It's not that hard. And it's easy to find a thousand super fans when you know how to identify them, all right? So let's talk about my secret sauce that I've been using to find people who go absolutely crazy for my music on day one, and they, they see it and they buy it. So I'm talking about people who, as soon as they like find it, they're writing me messages and one literally wrote me they're like i'm so glad i found you on facebook i love your music and i'm getting your cds as soon as i can and it's a perfect mix of two types of music and i get totally just lost in it and i can listen to it for hours thank you for sharing your amazing talent and your gift a new fan for life darren that's what i'm saying they're telling me i am a dedicated fan for life whatever you do from here on out i'm buying it i want that and so again, that's what a super fan looks like. They're telling you that they're super fans and they're waiting to discover you exist, but you have to help them find you. They're not gonna find you on their own. The internet is a big place. So what you use is marketing. Okay, so let's talk about the secret sauce. It's kind of a funny word, but hang on, all right? So it's called accumulative social traffic. And just one more time, that's accumulative social traffic. And in other words, it's one, attracting fans that fit the culture of my specific music. That's huge. Number two is building relationship with them. That's the advantage we have over labels. And number three is then motivating those fans on various social platforms to take a very specific action, like purchasing music or joining your email list, something very specific. So we're directing that traffic. Now, that might sound simple, but I'm telling you, almost nobody thinks that process through and actually implements it in a way that attracts those raving fans who are willing to buy your music the first day. Like, that takes some skill and it takes forethought and planning. And let me show you 
what I'm doing on social media that's working really well for me. All right, so let's take a look at YouTube. This is my YouTube account. And as you can see, I don't have millions of followers. I don't even have millions of views. In fact, I only have one video that has a million and a half views, and that was a total fluke, and you never really know how some of those videos are gonna go. But all the rest of my videos, they're very average. I have tens of thousands and a couple with 100,000 views. And remember, that's actually enough to make six figures per year. It's one of the strategies that I use in accumulative social traffic that I use to direct people to what I want them to do, which is joining my email list and buying my music and engaging with me on other platforms. And so this is so different than what other people do, than just throwing it out there, putting stuff on YouTube and Facebook and hoping that someone will like it. Everything comes down to being strategic. All this takes is a little bit of planning, okay? We never want a dead end on a social platform. And so make sure that we are directing people to take an action. Next, I'm gonna show you what's happening on Facebook. I get so excited about Facebook because it is the most powerful tool on planet Earth. And it's never been available for people like us until right now. It is literally a musician's best friend. It makes it so easy to find super fans. And why is that? Well, it's because of all the information we give Facebook. We tell Facebook everything about ourselves. We tell Facebook what we watch and what we're eating, what we're listening to, who inspires us, the quotes that we like, the celebrities we like, everything. Facebook knows everything now. And this is really a match made in heaven for fans and musicians because you're putting relevant content to the people who want it. And that's Facebook's biggest mission, actually, is to put relevant content right in front of the people who want it most. That's what Zuckerberg said himself. And so once you know your micro niche and you know exactly what your ideal fan looks like, it's so easy to locate them and find them on Facebook and then put your music right in front of their eyeballs. It's as simple as that. So let me show you how that's happening on my Facebook page. And you'll notice on my personal page, I don't have millions of followers. I don't, and you don't need that. Um, I have approximately 90,000 at the time of this recording, but the fans I do have are super engaged. That is key. They have to be engaged. And that's all it takes to support a six figure income. You're using that to build culture. You're using that to build relationship and no label can compete with that. And so that's what you've got to do to build that six figure income. And that's what's changed our whole life situation for me and my family. It is really, truly amazing. So let's look at an example of how you can find your super fans. We're gonna use my micro niche as an example because I've already gone through this process a hundred times and I've done my research. And that's where so much of the success lies is in doing the research. And so I know who my fans are. I know what they like and what I know what they don't like. I know what they read and what they watch. I've, I've been able to get into their heads. And so, hey, if, if you're not there and you don't have that figured out yet, that's totally fine. I can help you with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna find my audience and I'm gonna type in things that I know for a fact that they like. I know for a fact that fans who like my music also like TV shows like Game of Thrones and Vikings on the History Channel. I know they like that. So I'm gonna type that in in this cool ninja Facebook tool and what that does is brings up a massive audience, like huge, millions and millions and millions of people. Now, that's amazing, but I wouldn't market to an audience that big. That's just too broad um, and it could really get expensive and not be very effective. So what I wanna do is actually narrow that. What I wanna do is put something else that they also might like. I know people who like my music also like another similar band as me, but they're a little more famous than me, but they're still in my umbrella genre. So I'm gonna type in Nightwish. Nightwish is huge. They're a symphonic metal band and they're in my umbrella genre. And I know now people who like that band and they like that TV show, boom. I know that that is a very narrowed down audience and they're highly likely to like my music as well. So that makes it incredibly easy to promote my music to them, put it in front of the right people who this is really relevant to, 
and that's how I can gain a ton of super fans daily from doing something like this. And now your target audience, they're gonna have their own set of interests, they're gonna have their own age groups, their own locations. I know from studying my fans, I know where they live. So I know what areas of the world they're in too. And so that's all part of the success of this. You can't just guess, maybe I've got fans in South America. That's something you're gonna study and you're gonna learn about them. And you can do all that using Facebook and the free tools they've given us here to do that. We're gonna be diving into a lot more of that later on. So I don't want you to worry about this right now because there's so much information, there's so much to learn about that. And in fact, I warn you, don't pull up Facebook and like try creating ads and doing all of that yet. That is premature and you could really waste money if you do that and I care that you don't do that. I don't want you to waste your money. So I've already invested a ton of time and effort into my own education figuring this stuff out. And so I don't want you to make those mistakes. I've already made them for you so you don't have to worry about it. We're going to get into all of this later. I will take care of you so don't worry. It's really cool that you can do these types of things though, once you have super fans. And these, these five incomes that we talked about, these income streams in the last video, and, and how I told you about my crowdfunding campaign, how I raised $27,000, you know, that'll happen because I had super fans. You know, I raised that money from only 657 people because I was able to do stuff like this. I was able to, locate fans who wanted my music, they couldn't wait to be involved. And, and that would never be possible without those super fans. That is the number one key. People often try to launch a crowdfunding campaign and then hope that people will help them out and hope that people will take interest in their project before they have an audience. And so what, what's happened is they've done it backwards. And so I encourage you to Focus on your fan base. Your fan base has to come first. You have to build that tribe of people who are on the same page as you and then launch your campaign and then you will have a ton of success. So you might be thinking, I'm not that tech savvy or I'm not even good at social media and this takes so much time and computers aren't my thing and um, like how am I supposed to do all of that? I'll tell you, I am not tech savvy either and I've had to learn all of this from scratch myself. But even I was able to do this, and as a stay-at-home mom, I've been busy, you know, I'm like homeschooling and there's you know housework and homeschool and, and all kinds of things going on. But even I was able to just learn a few skills, get out of my comfort zone a little bit, and make it work. I made it work and it took me to a whole new level. So that's really exciting. And if you think you don't have a lot of time for social media, I'll say, um, I got five kids, you can't use the time card with me, you know, but in all seriousness, you know, I don't have a lot of time either. And I've got systems in place that allow me to tackle the social media in a relevant, timely way that don't take hours and hours of my time all week. So that's why I also recommend using accumulative strategies where, hey, if you put a video up on YouTube, you can come back a year later and you're only going to accumulate views. They don't go away. You're accumulating traffic and directing traffic to the action you want people to take. And so you can even make sales while you're sleeping. This is like on autopilot. And quite frankly, you know, we've got to make time for what we care about. Where there's a will, there's a way. And my job is to hold your feet to the fire and make sure you do this stuff. So if you want your music to be successful, if you want that more than anything, if you don't want to have like regrets later down the road that like, why didn't I ever pursue that? You know, I always wanted to do that thing and I never did it. I'm not going to let you do that. There's no way around it. I'm here and I'm like, I'm going to make you do this. All right. So when I first started to try to promote my music like this, I had no idea what I was doing at all. I had no clue. And so I invested a lot of money. I invested so much time into my craft. And now, because I learned these few skills, now I'm able to live comfortably and provide for my family with my music. And I'm gonna help you do the same if you're willing to commit to being that 2% of that population who actually takes action on what you learn. That's why I'm here. You know, so many of us make excuses and it's time to stop making those excuses and start doing what we say we're gonna do.
So I challenge you to put this into action. So let's do a quick review of what we learned today. First, we went over a whole new way to think about creating super fans and marketing your music. Because you don't need millions or hundreds of thousands of people or views to make good money. You simply need to get very specific about your niche and exactly what your super fans look like. Then you can use accumulative social traffic and simple Facebook ads to attract super fans right to your page. And when you do that, you can engage on a level that is amazing and unprecedented. They're gonna love you and they're gonna be so happy you discovered them and they discovered you. That reminds me, you know, this one really simple ad that I have going on Facebook, it's hilarious. I've gotten over 600 shares in the last couple of months, which if you even get five shares, that is huge, absolutely huge. And so I've gotten over 600. I didn't pay for anything, that was totally free. And they're saying stuff like, Facebook finally got it right. The algorithms got it right. They think it's the algorithms that got it right, but it was me that got it right because I know them and I'm in their head. And so I know that they're gonna like my music. And so they're like, Facebook finally got this right and I'm finding music that I actually like. And, there, and someone here is like, I just purchased an album after listening to you on YouTube and your lyrics are intelligent and I love your voice and I want more. And someone's like, I know what albums I'm buying come payday. I mean, there's literally 200 comments here. Everything is positive and they're excited and they're tagging their friends and they're sharing it. And all of that happened because of the strategies I'm talking about right now. And so when you apply this in your music business, you're gonna start to see an immediate shift towards a fan base that literally builds a buzz for you and they really value your music and they want to pay for it. They're like, "Where? sign me up, where do I get your CD? And so, hey, this has been a jam-packed video and so make sure that you review your notes. Feel free to watch this a few times. It's a lot of information here. And of course, you need to be taking action immediately to make this all work. So go ahead and be thinking right now about what your super fans look like. Who are they? Write that down because in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to put all of this together and market your music to people who are already waiting to support you. Now, if you're just starting out and maybe you're thinking about recording your very first album, this is gonna give you the exact track to run on so that you can successfully launch that music. And if you're already a seasoned musician and you have a ton of experience, then I'm gonna give you specific steps that you can take right now to amplify everything you're already doing. And it's gonna help you identify the few things that are probably holding you back from that breakthrough that you need to finally make a living with your music. And hey, speaking of making a living with our music, we've been hearing from a number of people who have had questions about the online musician and when they can get in. So in the next video, we're gonna talk more about that course and how you can enroll. And the way it works is that I open up the full class on a very limited basis. And we do this so that we can run it to, uh, you know, similar to a college level class, which enables us to go through it together. So I'm gonna be opening up registration for that in a few days, and then we close it down so that we can get started with the new class. And that's why the next video is gonna be all about taking that next step and what that looks like. Because for you, that next step might mean organizing your album from ground zero. Maybe you've never recorded an album before and it's time to get serious about doing that, recording it, launching it the right way. Um, it could be about marketing and implementing a strategic plan for the music you've already released, maybe even 10 years ago, and it's time to find super fans for that old release, and yes, you can do that. And it could mean even setting up the five streams of income we talked about so that you don't have all your eggs in one basket so that you can finally pay your rent and pay grocery, pay for groceries with money you made directly from your music. So you could definitely figure out how to do all this stuff the long way and the expensive way and do what I did, which was spend tens of thousands of dollars studying marketing, studying business, studying what's working online and internet marketing, all that stuff. You could do that or, I mean, that would be silly because I've already made all these mistakes for you. You could take the shortcut way. So if you're interested in moving forward and you want more details about the program, I'm gonna tell you all about that in the next video. And I'm gonna email you as soon as it's ready. But before we go today, I want you to leave me a comment right below this video because I'm gonna read it. And I want you to tell me who you think your super fans are and what they look like. 
I bet you have a sneaking suspicion of some of the similar interests that you guys have in common. I bet you have an idea of the types of TV shows they watch or maybe the books that they read or maybe even video games they play. Who do they follow on social media? Who are the celebrities that you guys both might enjoy? Maybe you can think of even other ways to identify these super fans. How are you gonna get their attention? Write it down, but write it below this video too. I'm so wanting to know this and tell me, what it would look like if just 1,000 of these super fans, who are probably, they're almost like people you'd hang out with in real life. If a thousand of these fans were to be following you and your music and they were addicted to what you were doing and they're spending a hundred dollars a year on you, how would life be different one year from right now? And you can think like, if you didn't do any of this stuff, what would that be like one year from now? If you don't change anything, what will it be like one year from now versus if you implement everything we just talked about in video one and video two, if you do this stuff, what will that be like one year from now? Because I want you to get clear about the result and the impact it's gonna have on your life and the direct impact it will also have on people around you because it's not all about you, by the way. This affects everybody in a positive way. So let me know that by leaving a comment below this video and if you found this useful, if you found this helpful, share this, share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, Snapchat, wherever you are, and even just like grab the link and send that to a friend. So as we wrap up this video, you have to know that it doesn't get any more simple than this. Your super fans, they can make your music career. It can break your music career if you don't have them though. So you know now that these super fans are the people that labels would normally try to sell your music to, but you have the power to find them directly. And the label, they don't get to keep your money, you get to keep it. And so that's the part I love. And all you have to do is let your super fans know about your music. So I'm gonna make it really simple and show you this shortcut that is gonna save you uh, literally years of research that I spent and tens of thousands of dollars that I spent to figure this stuff out. So. If you're still here, you are the 2%. I know that you're the action taker and you're the one that's gonna get the results and you're gonna leave everybody else behind. If you follow through with your commitment to yourself and your music and you actually do this stuff, you will be successful. And so I'm so excited for you and I can't wait to see you in the next video.